I'm Dick Niffing. And I'm Diane Anderson with your overnight KRQE.com webcast. First, let's go to Mark Ronchetti with the weather. Well, we are looking at recycled moisture over the next few days. With high pressure overhead, the moisture we have at the surface, we're going to push it up and wring out some thunderstorms from time to time over mountain sections across New Mexico. Some of these could well work into the valleys. Santa Fe teenagers who witnessed the crash that killed four of their friends told how they saw a suspected drunk driver coming down the wrong side of the old Las Vegas highway early Sunday. I was traveling in the middle of the road and then he swerved over into the wrong side of the road and um, Avery swerved out of the way and he T-boned her and the car flipped around once. 16-year-old Avery Kaufman, who was driving, was the only survivor in the car hit by the DWI suspect. Some of the kids in the following cars who saw the crash rushed to the wreckage to try to help. Others called 911. Tell someone to get out here. It's really bad. I mean, injuries? half the f car's gone. Okay, sir, are there injuries? Oh, uh, I think people might be dead. The wrong way driver, 28-year-old Scott Owens, had only minor injuries. He is jailed on four counts of vehicular homicide. Avery Kaufman, the sole survivor, was taken to UNM Hospital in critical condition Sunday. Now the hospital is not releasing any information about her condition. Surgeons at John Hopkins in Baltimore successfully performed a reverse shoulder replacement on retired U.S. Senator Pete Domenici Monday. The 77-year-old had suffered from nerve damage in his right arm and hand since 2000 when he was injured while playing touch football with his grandchildren. He also has a degenerative brain disease, which led him to retire when his term ended in January. Domenici was the longest-serving senator in state history. Join Mike Powers, Deanna Sassetta, and Mike Hernandez for all your overnight developments. That begins at 5 a.m. sharp on KRQE News 13 this morning.